Tom Tom Run Laddies in my name is Chaz. Welcome to my favorite thing called What If In this movie slash part Ern it's called What If Zuku was Adaptoid or yeah or has a adaptoid's powers. So, if you, you all don't know about that super adaptoids, let me pull up a picture. I think it was in trying to look for it, but the Picture him as a daptoid. You know, from Avengers Assemble one. Sorry. So, <clears throat> the let's start things off with the bang. Okay, so first, before we get into it, these pictures are like huge shout outs to Dark Claw, a Raven Claw thing, and so. And every other whatever thing. So. The. Now let's get into it. And in this what if. Zuku who's. Is quite powerful. Like he can. Like he actually. Became a hun of everything. Like. Picture destroyer. And one of the villains from Seven Deadly Sins. The first season. Season. And. Basically, any overpowered character. This is, must be my overpowered character. Or my Zuku that's overpowered. So, let's start things off. When he was, or actually... Or, start from the beginning, like very beginning. So... The super adaptoid, him, was, got created from, like, hu humans, and, mm, that enchanted their, to adapt to any, Form of combat abilities. So that. One day that they need him to become. Like. Or, so. They worship him as an hen. But then. And the real hen. Was. Things, hmm, they put the most, or they built the most powerfulest creature I see. Their machine to fight anything. Because his helper, the angel, actually told him that they, that the human built him 
to protect their village from any attacks from the other villages. So then they're like, he's like, okay. And through the years have passed, there was changing engine and the so the adaptoid died out and and then his power like his because and when Inco, I know, what, and, or yeah, Inco was, or she worships the powerful gods thing, so when she, he, and, I forget his name, the, let me pull it up, where is he? Him, both of them were in two different, like, religions, things. But they, but one day, or they actually grew close to each other. Inko and her husband went and had... Two kids. Zumi. And. The all powerful. Zuku Midoriya. Of course. In this version of Zuku. His power. Or actually. It's his. Like. Ability. He can learn new abilities through everything. Like he can scan all of us or scan every person in, I forget their name or that guy's name, the one that is similar to that one that's in a black outfit. The one that has like a tie and looks like has like belt things and similar to his quirk but he adapts to different fighting styles too in their memories and all of that so huh? one day er, when Zuku was three years old Where is Bakugo? I think I forgot to add him into this pile. So, Bakugo, hold on. I mean, so Bakugo with the flying friend and the one that had his fingers could stretch out. One was. Bullying, or like playing around with Zuku, but then when they, or when he, or all three of them went and dog piled on top of him, then he absorbed, or like adapted to their powers, so he accidentally. Expl used Bakugo's explosions. Sorry, I'm at 11. <laughs> Sorry. So, he used Bakugo's explosions to get them off of him. And all of them, like, Bakugo was like, what the heck just happened? And when they looked at him, 
M. The he grew wings like bat wings thing. M. M. Okay, so give me. It's the. M Y Hero Amia. I know I look up that tab. But give me one huh? I was gonna put his girlfriend, but then I was like no. So, I'm trying to look that up. I was going to say, it's similar to him, him, here, hold on. I'm just doing that to annoy you all of you. So, he got his wings and he also got the I'm trying to think. Got that guy, the one that has uh, fingers thing that are sticking his. Got his fingers and. <clears throat> Alright. So. So Bakugo and his friend says, what the heck just happened? Because they flew all the way to the. It's a building. Like their side of their school thing. And when. When they looked up and. Zuku. Was. Just getting up from their. His. He was like. What the heck just happened. And. It's almost similar to Rimuru Tempest's. Like, that skill thing, or I forget that. But, it's almost similar, but it talks into his brain saying, or actually, at first, he says, Bakugo Kostke, or whatever his name is. And the other two names, but I can't pronounce it, so just say the other two friends. And their powers and their memories and their things. So basically, he, he says, sorry about to go, the, uh, my... I couldn't believe a uh, powerful because Zuku was as pretty powerful. So Baku goes like, "Dude, it looks like your quirk has finally act or finally activated." So when or principles. Or when they saw, like, his power thing, Principal asked Zuku if, if he, what did you do thing. So he's like, am I in trouble? As Principal says, no, 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 you're not in trouble. It's the, can I... Because he was 
painting it off. Shows that Zuku is quite now with all that power. From three students of his. Yeah. Like. So then his parents. Or actually he goes back to school. Or he wasn't like in trouble. But Bakugo. You know, and his friends. Got in trouble for, like, being dogpile because you know, on top of Zuku. So then, when he was four years old, his mother took his sister and him to the court doctor, and the court doctor says. Hmm, let's see. Let's start with your daughter, Inko. And she says, okay. Hey. So she, she he, or he walks over to Zumi, and he's one that works for All for One, if you all haven't got caught up. So he... Was pretty powerful. But. When he. Knew. That. Zumi. Was, had. And her mother's. Like. Telekinesis. Or whatever that's called. And her. Father's fire breath. Thing. But when. So then when they went over to Zuku's, they thought he was quirkless. Or like they said, well, sorry ma'am, your son is quirkless. As he, as he l looks at him like... Kind of like a similar in canon, but then he snapped out of it and says, if I'm quirkless, why can't I, as he touched his mother, her on the shoulder thing, and, and then he gains her mother's power, like he, he actually grew wings like he actually showed him his wings and how long his fingers are and explosions like long fingers on one hand the explosions on the other and telekinesis how is this possible as the doctor looked at him and like this is confusing. The it's I really don't know. That's what the doctor is saying. Like on here it says you're quirkless. But how is that possible that you have every power as the I'll call her call the thing that voice chili the one that's in his head that like scans the every time he touches something he gains that ability thing and memories and all that stuff so he, he or the voice He's telepathically tells the doctor, because it was telepathically, told him that Zuku has this unique or attribute. 
It's similar to Bond, the Fox and of Greed from Seven Deadly Sins. That he says, and so when the doctor heard that from that voice, he he did the same look that he did that this character did. So then when he couldn't believe or all of them couldn't believe that Zuku is now the embodiment of that robot thing. So when he was I'm doing a time skip thing. 15 into the future thing. Zuku was going to UA. And he actually went to exam thing. He didn't trip and meet Ochako and... So he, like, he was, had a really bad headache, so he, or that's kind of like his weakness, but not really. He just smacks himself back into reality. And so he was like, hey, Okay. But instead of meeting Araka or, or Chaco, instead of meeting her, her she, he met her. her. I know. She's the She's in that UA thing. I'm putting her there. So she. So. She. Me. Knew that something's. About him. Because she has that thing of for. Men that she's looking for. So she ends up. Or she, or actually Zuku, who, who, he went to the exam thing, and he he was pretty smart. So he was the first one done before everyone else, way before. So he like like goes to the that robot thing until everybody was done. The only two people were done laying later was his sister and Momo I Rosie, or whatever her name is. I always call her Momo. M-O-M-O -M -O one. So. So he's like, huh, well, better be safe. Because he was pretty powerful. So he, exp or they... Or, like, something talked to, into his brain. Hmm? Like, he always has this... Like, he always wipes his forehead when he... Like, tries to, you know, think. But when... And... So, when they all... When they all, like... Got done with the thing. 
Then he moves, or they moved on to a robot one. And when the gates open, or actually he, ex his mic explained it really fast. Really, really fast. Because Zuku was ready to rip a hinges right off. So when they, er, he rips the, or he actually did it, he actually ripped the hinges off, threw them way over, over, and <laughs> don't ask me where it, they landed, but I sure think it's not in, so... So some people had that same look that he's doing. Like, what the heck is he doing? As he, 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 like, basically ran so fast. He ran, like, three times as fast as a normal human. <clears throat> kind of like the Flash, but... Three times as, as much powerful as him. So he took out all the robots in about, I believe, one second. Like, done. And, and they're like, you jerk, you saved some I'm a, of the robots for the rest of us. That's what some of them have the same look at. I'm like, okay. I was going to put, like, the... The... I was going to add the... Zuku's fan thing. Giant fan. The person kind but I was like well but I am gonna add and Dobby I know that Dobby is in Lee Ego villain but in canon but in this one in this what if he is a Different kind of guy. But he ends up... So... He says that's pretty cool. Or he says it in his head. That's pretty cool. And... Some of them... Are like... Basically like... Some of them do the same thing as what they're doing but when they're just like in oh if you were wondering about this character she's in the in that but she he has more confidence in Zuku than anyone else. So when she is in, of course, of course, when they, so Nezu says, it's time to bring out the big boys as he hits that big red button thing. Instead of one zero pointer, there was like five zero pointers. There's that was gonna get basled. As he says, if you remember when I or when you say leave some robots, here you go. <laughs> of course, before he walked away, he turns around, he sees. 
poor little old Chaco, well, under a rubble thing, he literally flew across, like, so fast, picks up a boulder, threw it, and he, after, he kind of, like, when he tried to grab her, uh, with his long fingers things, like, picks her up, and, like, kind of like what Mr. Aizawa does, and he, after he touched her with her, or with his long fingers thing, he also gained her memories, too, like, her quirk, her power, her speed, her strength, and everything. And, and before I go any further, th this version of Zuku has no limitations on it. Like, kind of like similar, or he doesn't have any of every person that he touches. He doesn't have any, like, limits or kind of like if he touches Deki or whatever his name is. He does, and when he uses his, like, lightning ability, he doesn't get shocked by kind of like what he does in the anime thing. Like, he, he doesn't, or he does get shocked, but Zuku, if Zuku touches him, and he, or Zuku uses his power, he doesn't get shock. He just, like, huh, that's fun. Kind. Or if he... So, it's basically kind of like adapt to their fighting style. So, when after he, Zuku set Ochako down, um, then he witnessed, or his, he looked at his hand, like his other hand, and he notices he had, like, Ochako's is, whatever those soft things are, those ones that make, or can activate her quirk, and disactivate her court thing. So. He, so. Only. Or the. All the pro heroes watched. Him actually do that. And he. When he turns around. The. There was like. Four. Or no. There was still five. In. Nezu, you know, was trying to turn it off, turn the simulation thing off, but it didn't spawn, so, so Zuku is like, huh, well, how many targets, as he straight up used all of his quirks that he, or his power, so he, like, lunged. He blew the... Sorry about that. The... When he... Expl like, he went up and says, Hello. Boom! Blow. Or he... Zuku used Bakugo's explosive quirk thing to explode one of the monsters' faces. Or... Robots' faces off. Killing it instantly. And when he goes to the other one, he, he basically slaughtered all five of them in about one second. Like, because, and Nezu, 
and All Might and all those pro heroes thing. Saw him as one true hero. So when and his sister says, That's my brother for you. He looks like a big bulldozer thing. Like he's stronger than he looks. And he, or after she was like giving so much credit to her brother, her, she walks over to Ochako, says, are you doing okay? Yeah, I'm fine, says Ochako. They, so, Zumi is like, we haven't met before, so my name's Zumi. <laughs> There's Zuku Midoriya. Zumi Midoriya, that's what sh she's called. She's. And I guess you are Ochako, Oraka, right? As. And Ochako oh, got so embarrassed. Like, how did you know me? And because actually when Zuku and Zumi were growing up, Bakugo, or no, not Bakugo. Deku had Bakugo and his two other friends. Friends. And so that makes a him ha or there was four and then Z Zumi had Was hmm. She had was Jiro, Momo, Froggy, and that invisible girl, and Mina as their as his. Or as the, her friends. So. Once they actually. When. Or when Momo heard that. Or actually she asked. So who's that. Buffed up kid. And. To her friend. And. Or of course Momo. Oh, told in or zooming that. So zooming says, "Oh, that big buff guy that took out all the robots and all the zero pointers things. That is my brother right there. His name is Zuku Midoriya. He is my brother, anyways. So." And from the, there was one girl, that I, I really don't know what her name is, but I'll just say Cheryl, or Cheryl, or whatever her, her name is. So she, when Zuku, Zumi, and the rest of them were, like, kids, like, kind of like what they're doing, like, when they were that size, she, he, 
was always embarrassed to talk to him. Him? She always was embarrassed. Every time she even gets close to him, she feels embarrassed. But when... Sorry about that. So now they're like adult things. So, and All Might that saw that, he was like, whoa, that boy has more power than he has. He's way faster than me. As Nezu who says, yeah, but the... During that meeting thing, they were, like, asking where should he be put. You know what they were trying to put him in? Not in Class A. They were going to put him in Class 1B. He. <laughs> he. With... Her and the rest of them. But they, that was only half of them said that. The other half says, have a put him in class 1A because he looks like a class 1A thing. So they said, okay, put him in class 1A. So he did put. Or they put him in class 1A. So. Because they were. Debating about her. But she. or They chose her to be. In class 1A. And she has a richest family. I'm trying to think of. Her family's name. She's a royal family. But. She. She always doesn't. Like. Problem is for her. She doesn't like boys. Is that doesn't meet her. Criteria. But when she. Meant. Er, when she saw Zuku. She knew he was the one. I'm talking about the character, not me, so don't worry. I don't want that, like, porn thing, or... Okay? So, and Mina, that crazy girl, she, he, in this what if, she is like... She won't... She wants to go really, really far. Like, she wants Zuku, I said Zuku, for him, for herself. Because she, like many other girls that in UA, like her, Mina, Class 1A, or actually 1B, sorry, and Class 1A. All of them wanted to date him so bad. So, including her. So, they so the I'm skipping the exam because once Zuku like actually Got first place in all of them. And. One day threw the ball. Where he was waiting until. Or he asked Mr. Aizawa. Says how far. As. Mr. Aizawa. Says. As. Says this. Ready. 
He says, as far as you can throw it. And when Zuku threw it, he, like, full force, he became, or actually, he threw it so hard, that machine that was in Mr. Aizawa's hands randomly exploded because it said error, 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 error. Er, er, er. It's the E R R all the way across his entire screen. Broke his as so when they like saw his power like through so hard then he when they turned to look at Mr. Aizawa his hand was totally normal. Like what the heck? As they turn around and saw Zuku with that device exploded in his hand and said, because how fast he is, like, what the heck goes on? on? So, they, Ling, so I'm skipping that part, so, but before, but, 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 and before, uh, to or of course Todoroki, hold on, or yeah Todoroki, him, he decides to say, you got first place in that exam, M, instead of the number two's hero's son. Or instead of me. That. So. Zuku says. Huh. Well. No one. That's okay. I mean. No matter who wins or who loses. We're all. Be friends till the end. Okay. And when they. During that hero thing. Or heroes versus villains thing. Zuku got paired up with. Her. And when. Both of them worked together. Works together. He actually. So he actually did er, against Bakugo and Todoroki. So he says, all right, I'll be right back. He runs right into, like, so fast, he runs and touches the bomb in about one second after they, like, said, okay, ready, boom. They weren't even prepared for it. So then... So... They were pretty powerful. All things considered. So then... Then the after the heroes versus villains thing, horn. When they all went back to their house, sorry, I'm thinking about what. So, Inko was so sad because her 
like her thing. I forget the her church thing told like literally I'll just her mother her like that girl's mother was running it so so they told her to break up with her husband but her husband had a same problem cuz of Miri or Momo's those parents that were running his hot or church thing actually said stay away from Inco. So they weren't like or they weren't divorced thing. And so he couldn't believe that his own parents are getting separated. I'm talking about my, or talking about this Zuku from my what if, not, okay? So, I'm clearing that up for you. So, so he, or so they, like, Inko, or not Inko, Inko or her, not her, but her, she says, well, this is a final goodbyes until things get figured out, okay? As his, as Zuku's his father says, yeah. Because, and when they, so, the next was USJ, or no, U-S-J, yeah, I said that right. So, so, they, when they got on the bus, Rabbit, or whatever her name is, the toad girl right there, her, she ends up asking everyone what their quirk is. I said quirks, not, okay, so, the first was, or they, for a bit, pointed to Zuku, and sa says, what is yours, as he really didn't tell there, but he says, well, my quirk is called adapt. Uh, it allows me to adapt to anything around me. And when, during that, you, or that Heroes vs. Villains thing, he, he, like, some reason, got a power of two quirks. Ice and fire. There. So, that's why his wings are... One side's blue, one side's red. So, he is the most powerfulest one. So, they, so then when, when she asked him, M, how are you feeling? As he says, well, or actually, he, they were alone because of the work guy. He, but, 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 but before I get too ahead of myself, when they walked in and they, so the handyman guy 
or actually all the villains came out of a portal and they did the same thing that they did in canon. But Zuku, when he got teleported through the portal thing, he gained that warp guys' power. Or he doesn't like change his body or when he had the dark aura thing. So Zuku is quite powerful. So he actually when he actually or I think he him and her of course and got teleported into a rock uh, that no one could even hear it them so and Zumi and Momo got teleported. Did. And. So. So she says. Well, how are you feeling by the way. About your parents getting separated from themselves. As he says. Well. Hmm. It's. Quite calm, but my mom's not taking it so easy. Easily. So, but the, as his body, where he actually warps both of them, or actually he, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, he hits the handyman. Like, you know those, like, people that, like, the, kind of like Gurren Logon one. So, they, when they both, like, hit each other in the back. Well, when Zuku hits the handyman in the back, he gains the decay quirk. I know, that's weird. So, he basically got warp, or he basically got every single one. Like, he, he used his power, or actually he randomly warped and hits every villain. And, and he gains, like, more and more and more powerful. Like, he, his body was kind of like a one that you see on screen. Instead of having a six-pack, he had 32-pack. Huh. Like, he was quite powerful. Like, his muscles were similar to... All Might. And. He actually. When he hits the Nomu. He also gained regeneration. And. Then soon he also. Also had a power. Of. Like, bringing himself back from the dead. Like, pre he's pretty powerful. So, the... So then, after the battle thing, he grabs Mr. Aizawa. After he grabs Mr. Aizawa and took him to 13... And 13 was this 
was not in a critical condition because Zuku, er, because he, when he touched 13, like trying to grab her and like took him to a safe distance thing, he gains Mr. Azawa's sight thing. He also gains 13's is black hole thing, the one that she, he, she shoots out of her finger, or like sucks in. And when she was, or when he gains the O's powers, Handyman says, it's all over for you. Or actually, all old, oh, it's all over for us. Because Zuku was, as he straight up, like, straight up hits Anomu right in the brain, and killing him instantly. And. When he was pretty powerful. So when they got home and. Z Zuku. Because. They're. Because. Um. Is certain someone. Her parents. Heard that motion thing, and they they told her parents that Zuku is the one true gun part. So they started to like believe that he's the reincarnation of. The adaptoid thing. So. After they told. Or after her parents told her that. And she was like. Whoa that's cool. Oh. And then. Momo. Momo's uh, parents. Told her. That. Same thing. Momo was freaking out. Like, what? Zuku is what? Because she... She heard about stories of a legendary... Robot creature looking thing. Thing. That could take out anyone... And he adapted to environment things. So when. So her parents and. Or their parents. Parents. Actually. Told. Zuku's his parents. Because. To get back in. Back together one. So they agreed and they got back together and they. But the only person that really finds that so cute was actually her. Because she. Finds him attractive about it. And when she. Heard that. Because. And. M Mina. And. Maya. Or whatever her name is. That when they both heard. His. What his name was. 
what he was based off of. They said, ooh, that's cool. So, Zuku is pretty powerful. Like, he... He could handle all that personality things and... Or their memories. And... Before I'm going to do a commentary, so... I really hate to being or having everyone else's memories fused with my memories because one, one, if I go to sleep, I will dream about someone else, like being in someone else's dream. So, then All Might heard about that accident thing. It didn't go over the media, but they, he, but All Might found a good chance. So, he walked up to Zuku and, like, asked him to go visit with him. So, he did. They talked for a while about, or he explains that all for one and that stuff. But he says, do you want the quirk thing? So he says, sure. Or, yeah. You know, he wasn't being sarcastic at thing. But when Zuku got it, he also got his powers boosted up to now awaken quirks. So, like, once he touches someone, it awakens up their quirks inside of him because he adapted to their... It's the same thing, but... So, like, he can move objects that are, like... When he touches the ground, he, like, boom. So, when Camp Park thing, or Sports Festival, he, he won, like, three of those because how powerful. Because in, in the sports one, or in the cavalry battle, I... Basically left his team to like, of course, Zuku, the Sauna, or that Dark Shadow. But I am, o and Ochako and Maya, M E I. Hmm? I don't know if I said that right, but... So, all three of them... Or, so, when he... When Zuku gains... Like, he gains... Dark Shadows' quirk. He also gains... Her quirk. And... But when Momo and all of them went right after him, they, so he was basically, or he did the same thing. My goodness. Hey. So, so Zuku... Like, he actually used his quirk of warp thing mixed with Dark Shadows' quirk and Bakugo's explosions. It's called, or I'm calling his new move, Dark Bright thing. I was trying to figure something out for it, so... It's 
they're, I call it dark light thing, but and it's these creatures that have, look like they're all chubby, or it looks like the same name as Zuku's, but more chunkier, and, or it's similar to their past, past life, or their, like, kids' life thing. It's just a shadow, not real. Don't worry, there's no kids harmed during the making of this what if. So, that dark creatures, they exploded right in front and then blinds everybody. Like flashbang grenades things. But when they, when he touched Momo, or tried to grab her, her headband thing, her and her entire group, like, all of their groups is now inside of Zuku, like, their memories, their skills, their things, so he... He also, he grew a tail out, so, because he, his, Momo's group was, had him, so, they're like, what the heck, in the fighting thing, he used that brain, got his quirk against him, and all that stuff. So, and Zuku, of course, now skipped to, he actually, or to the, or to the camp thing, because Zuku became... So, he didn't, like, be careless, but he was, as, he cares about everybody. So, he ends up taking everybody, or flies the entire bus over to the Wild Wild Catch. And instead of them all getting off the bus and... Huh? And... He was pretty strong. And don't worry about the hero killer stain one. Zuku took care of him no matter. It's like. But when he actually. Every time he drinks like water or anything. From now on. He. He, he feels the power of. Everything like recharges his self, so it's similar to this YouTuber that's called, I think it was Dar Dr. Dark or Dark Dr. 19. One. I don't know how to pronounce his YouTube name, but it was, and, and so, he, I'm going to leave his shout out to you guys, so don't worry if I'm talking weird, but I am going to. I was, I'm trying to look up his name, but don't worry, I'll be right there in about, so, it's dark, get, or dark, dark air 19, so, 
it's similar to his version of Godzilla, or his Zuku, but his Zuku can't even beat my the adaptoid version of Zuku. So, because he can adapt to anything, but so let's go move on from that. So. So, when they all, like, got off a bus, he came and brought the bus back, and there was nothing else. So, he, they actually had rooms in the house thing, but Zuku, you know, he, er, no, oh, hold on. Zuku decided to stand outside, like, kind of like, kind of like what guards are, but he is quite literally the powerfulest one, so, and, gets his name. Racer head and blood hero says as to Zuku that he needs some rest. And Zuku says, Yeah, I I will. And okay, but I'm doing something really important. As Mr. Aizawa says, What's more important than sleep? I'm building the obstacle course. He was actually building an obstacle course for just himself. Because, and it was pretty high one. Like, he was, no one can even beat very, 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 very high. Like, kind of like expert on a whole different level kind of obstacle that he only designed himself. So when he went to bed, then Mr. Aizawa uh, also went to bed and Blood Hero. So Zuku got up be way before all of them. Um, so. Zuku went out and he did some modifications to it before. So then when they all, rest of them got up, they had their breakfast thing. Or actually, Zuku who was cooking breakfast and for class 1A and 1B. So, he was pretty powerful. If you say so, if I say so myself. So, he, he cooked the breakfast for everyone. And he says, I'm going to go train and really fast. Okay? Because he was quite powerful. Like, he just straight up... um. Like, because how tough the, his obstacle that he made in, he actually dodges everything and hits everything all at once. He was unstoppable force. So, and all of them, like all of those girls in are all like class 1A and 1B. Both classes, the girls find him attractive thing. And when Zuku was done, he was like, done. As Racerhead's like, whoa, calm down, boy. Because he's like, 
oh, I'm going to, of course. Then he went, walked around that trial thing at night. So then the toga, instead of attacking Ochako and Frebit, Toga attacked and Deku and Bakugo. So when Toga saw Deku in his buff form, she was how will I put this? She was quite She looked like, like that, but instead of like a frowny face thing, she smiles at it, like she she wants him, him too. So so he is quite literally powerful enough to so he. So Bakugo was battling against to Toga, and Zuku you know, went for or that or that musclear guy, and you know what they he ends up with the. He actually gains musclier's like strength, and don't worry about Koda's his parents. They were inside. They were they weren't dead in this what if. They were just like trying to relax from all that chaos thing. All right, so. They were like, okay, that's pretty normal, right? And so when Zuku became, went face to face with him, he gains musclears, powers, memories, everything. So then, I'm trying to think. He actually knocked Musclear out with just one full punch. Unblockable punch. So then when he got kidnapped and you all are probably saying Zuku getting kidnapped by what? By Mr. Compress and like, after he actually did one thing, he warped it, or he knocked out m that mustard guy, the one that gas guy, eh? into, you no, know, like, he ends up, so, Villains were planning this before or during the sports festival, so they built it before, and it was to take everybody's like quirks, powers, everything away from everybody. Like stealing their life force thing. And they're like, or you're probably saying, wait, are they gonna kill my Hero Academia universe in this? What if? No. Only person that survives is actually Zuku. So he got kidnapped and he got put in that machine. And when. Once it activates, everybody's lives went into his body. And they were trying to plan to, like, oh, I'm going to turn Zuku into a 
Nomu into that kind of Nomu. But it, like, he actually doesn't transform into it. He just, he actually stays the same. So he actually, he broke out of his handcuffs and, like, restrains thing. And he, he basically, only two people that were alive was him and all for one. But he took care of all for one by just, like, straight aiming up. Used his own power and took away his copied quirk or his mortality, killing him instantly. So then Zuku looked over and it said, I'm too late. And he was so sad that he couldn't believe his own thing. So he decides. Hello? Huh. Weird. Sorry about that. The. The. There's always a wacko thing. Oh, wait, it's just uh, ice in the refrigerator. So, Zuku, or they said Zuku, or when he looked at those people that were laying on the side of the roads, like, it looks like their life force was drained. So, you know what he did? He used his own... He actually used his own power of self-give, or like give, or like gift card thing. So they, when he uses it, this is what the drawback is. Every time he uses it, he loses his emotions. Kind of like Meliodas, but instead of going to a gun... He ends up just losing his own self. So he did it and gave everybody back their own lives thing. And they were like, what just happened? And all of them were like brought back to life thing. And only person... Or that actually was feeling kind of weird thing was her. Because of a certain little man right here. Let me zoom in. Him was actually grabbed. Her, like, her butt thing. Mm -hmm. So, it's just how weird it is. So, and through the last ten days... Or actually, Zuku teleported back to Nezu and told him that. He says, okay. And when he, like, after 10 years of them, like, trying to, like, say, or, yeah, 10 days after, he actually, or they says, come on, Zuku, talk to us. Please, D, come on, show some emotions. Try to laugh, laugh, or all that stuff. So, 
Zuku had enough of it, so he decides to go back to the where it like before he lost his emotions. He went back. He calibrated a machine. He got his emotions back. And he took that machine, put it in his pocket universe, and that's it. So he actually says he's, he was so relaxed. They're like, wow. So then skipping that, it, like, test to becoming a hero thing, like staying that school thing. Zuku and Zumi, class 1A and class 1B, actually made it through. Like, they all passed. And don't worry. I'm talking about Link. So, Zuku, sorry, give me one minute. So, Zuku, you know, became really, really fast. He, like, every time he has to slow down, like, a snail kind or a sloth to try to talk to them normally. Like, uh, Zu or some of them are like, Zuku, what's wrong with you? As he says, well, I have this power that allows me to, or actually he wrote it down so fast, they're like, okay. When they, all of them, we're like, wait, so you talk so fast that like, we can't even understand you? That's funny. So then when Zuku was pretty powerful, of course, going right to the overhaul thing, overhaul actually lost really fast. His boss got healed and then so he says he actually says I have to do one thing as he flies right over to the hospital where the certain court doctor was at the one that like told was gonna tell Zuku that he was quirkless one And went down into his closest to the, or not closest, furthest from the surface. Yes. And ends up killing the doctor. Yeah. And he ends up saying, or actually, the doctor was already dead, so because of that machine. So, so then he went down there, he destroyed all the quirks, or actually, he absorbed all the quirks into himself, and then. He became the world's powerfulest man, and he he put villains behind bars things really fast. This guy did everything, how powerful he is. He, or they tried to, like, sneak attack him? Nope. And one time he actually did accidentally teleported himself to the other universe 
I, it's called What If Deku Was Godzilla Reincarnation Universe. So he and or actually he met his like Godzilla counterpart thing because Zuku in in that version the bought up version that I that you see before you he actually got so bored because of the being a pro hero and crime rate at in his universe thing was zero nothing no crimes like they were so bored of it so when they because of Zuku and so when the, he left like went to like a universe crime rate was still down about zero or still at zero so they're like wow so then when he met his Godzilla version of himself the if he sorry I talk so fast so he ends up looking or but they both look at each other and they're saying what the heck are you so but the Godzilla version of Deku was trying to do like flame breath and all that stuff to my version he actually kicked his butt by boom bam boom boom bam bam boom boom but real fast and Mothra or yeah Mothra went and interfered and Zuku took care of her by just whacking her away not not like not really like really hard punch kind thing, but every like Zuku's or every friend that Zuku had, including Bakugo, was like, what the heck is this? So Bakugo, huh? So, Zuku, this is a different version. So, it, he walks up to Bakugo and says, Huh, guess you're the, this timeline, Zuko, uh, I see. Hmm. You're really upset at him, or the other version of me. As he points to... Deku that's laid passed out on the ground because how powerful this my version of Zuku is is like huh so then he went back to his own timeline thing they're like or some of them actually said in in that universe where what if Deku was Godzilla reincarnation one in that universe they asked him where did you come from or they asked like what's your name so they or he says I'm Zuku Midoriya of because they all had code names for it like I come from what if Deku was a adaptoid and when they all like they thought that was kind of weird so he like went right back to his world 
way after. So, he, like, he just went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Dark Dare or Dr. 19 thing. Hang. And when he came back, it was the same place, like the same time that he, like, after he left. So basically, he. Alright. Like, he went on. Like, he, he actually. Or Zuku. This version of Zuku went on a date with her. Uh, I'm trying to look for her or Momo. That's what I that's what I, that I always call her. M O M O. Her and one. Two, three, four, five, six. Six of them. Or actually seven because I. So they. A and. With all that power that he got. And he also went on a date with. Her and her. Like, basically... And her, so... They all... They all got married to him. Or, like, two people. Or, actually, four people. Momo is one. Hers too. Hers three. And hers four. And they it was it went wacky kabaki kind. They had a lot of children. Like they had like thing when that was kind of weird thing. So so now it after he did that, so there was no who like the um, this is spoilers warning, but. In this what if, there was no who, like, all for one gives Zuku, or not Zuku, gives to Shiraki and his quirk, and he doesn't, like, become, like, a singing all for one, and... All that stuff. But Zuku. You know, was so caring. So. This is the end. But before we go. There's one thing. That really. I had for. My dreams. This is. I'm adding this part to. In it so don't worry. How about it? So, Zuku, or no, so in my dream, I hope that you all are ready. So, I was on, I must again, like, do you rem remember? Do all of you remember that pyramids thing? Like Egypt one? 
Well, I had a dream that Zuku, or not Zuku, myself, I went into an Egyptian pyramid. One of those, like, small ones. And ends up finding a ritual site. And in that ritual site was that found a, like, sleeping spider. And I read the entire iron thing. And, like, I read the entire Egyptian language thing. And one word that I got it out of was chaos spider. So, then I looked at that big hunga thing. Then when I looked over and I see it, and that thing is it didn't have its eyes open. Open. So, he, or so it decided, or I went closer and I mapped it all out of what it was. But... I'm predicting that if that chaos spider ends up in the SCP thing, I think that would have been the day that I'll be like, nope, nothing new. So, and because there was a hundred thousand people right behind or like in his like tomb thing you think getting walled in is like torturous yes but the only thing that would find it really torturous was to find a big spider just gonna look at you and see if you were worthy or not. And it like it would eat you if you weren't worthy enough. If you were, it gives you like the superpowers powers of take a guess. Of the of gods and monsters and all that stuff. So I I'm predicting that the and if a any scientist people are out there. Or people, please share it with other people so that and you all need to create a machine that works in like a house thing to go into a different parallel universes thing. And... So, now, huge shout out to Oatling. People that, or I would rather be, okay, so, and I'm doing uh, custom cards after this video thing so have fun and see you in the next video peace out y'all